Hi, I'm Darren Crooks. I'm Curtis Short. Welcome to For Talk's Sake. It's been a while. Yep. <laughs> it has been a long time. a long time. We abandoned our Batman series the last time we were when doing any videos. A couple of months ago. a while ago, it? yeah. September. But it's Christmas now and it's becoming <laughs> the end of 2020. And we decided we're just going to sit and have a discussion about Christmas movies in general. Yep. Yep. Long, so, long list. <laughs> we have a long list of movies that sort of keep us in the right track and actually what we want to talk about, but knowing us, we'll probably go off on one at some yeah. point. Yeah. This will probably be a three hour video. Fuck <laughs> knows. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yeah, 2020 Christmas. It's not going to be like any other Christmas. It's going to be dreary as fuck, most yeah. likely, but we'll try and make the most of it. And by doing that, how long have you been watching Christmas movies for? You start like 1st of November, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, November. November? You start watching Christmas movies? Wait, what? <laughs> September. <laughs> yeah. I start off with the the kind of... Debatable ones? Yeah, the debatable. I don't want to say names, but... Yeah, because we'll it. get into them. But we're going to maybe start talking about the traditional sort of ones. Yeah. Then get into the debatable, and then get into my particular favorite ones, which would be like the horror style ones. Yeah, I say my favorite. Not a lot of them are great. Awful. But um, so since this is more your field of things, is there any of you'd like to start talking about? Um, I think we should just go down a list so don't forget. Them. Go down a list, our list that is in no particular order. But it does have a nice Christmas drawing by myself. <laughs> yeah. Also, the Grinch. The Grinch. Uh, are you talking about the Jim Carrey Grinch, the cartoon Dr. Seuss Grinch, or the Benedict Cumberbatch? Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch a Grinch that came out more recently. Which is also animated. Yeah. We'll talk about. We'll do it in order of when they came out. I guess. So the first so one would have been the first one. I haven't seen. I have it. The cartoon. I got it this year, but I haven't actually got watching it. Uh, the first time I watched it was whenever the Jim Carrey Grinch was in the cinema, and I'd asked for it on VHS. But obviously it wasn't out yet, so I got yeah. the cartoon on VHS, and I just thought it was a great wee cartoon. It was something, you know, it would stick on on Christmas morning before before I was allowed to go downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it sort of keep me occupied for a while. <laughs> so, it was dead on. The, what do you call it? Is it Dr. Seuss? The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Stole Christmas was yeah. the Jim Carrey one. Yeah. It probably, I well, I've only seen two of them, but I think it was the best. By Without far. a doubt. Jim Carrey's performance Jim Carrey, as a Grinch yeah, is, un- he is unbelievable. Unreal, yeah. It's such a great thing. And the fact that he endured that makeup and yeah. all. When you said he had to... Um, was it an FBI? It was like somebody who had helped the FBI go through torture interrogation. Yeah. So he could like get the makeup done without freaking out. Because he had to do it every morning, didn't he? Every for morning. Like for like hours or something. It was like six hours or something, I think. Hours. And then take it off again. Which probably took about an hour three hours. Okay. Yeah, all that stuff you glued would not to your face. Like to have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, definitely not. No way. And then, and then, then the, the wee girl. One. The wee girl. I like Taylor Momsen. Yeah. She, Go on uh, to be pretty reckless. Yeah. In well, life and a band. This is frozen. <laughs> 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 my beard's frozen. <laughs> so, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. What, what was he called? Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like back. <laughs> Actually, this was the first year I watched it. See him? Well, it only came out last year, didn't it? Yeah. So. It was the first year I watched it as well. It might have I been two years ago. It. it was good. So I it was, really it was it. enjoyable. Because it, yeah. it didn't try to be the so Jim Carrey one. It was so different. Yeah. Like, Obviously, it's the same story, Cindy but. Is it she was barely in it, was she? Yeah, like. No, she's more like. She's. All, like, don't want to ruin it, but she's almost like trying to catch the Grinch. Right. More than. And you include him? Yeah. Right, okay. But then it ends up helping him by catching him, I think. Okay. <laughs> so next, Elf. Elf. Now, like, it's a more recent. Like, it is, like, 2003. We were on, like, P7, I think, when that movie came I know, out, maybe. Come on, it's, like, a tr- we call it traditional, but it yeah. was in the 2000s, like, you Dude, know. we've got movies on that traditional list that came out, like, this year. I know, <laughs> but, you know, I think it's one of the best Christmas movies. I didn't today. like it for years. I didn't like it for years until I actually sat down and watched it again last year, I think. And I actually was like, you know what? It's actually a pretty decent movie. It's because I have a thing against Will Ferrell, so... I, yeah, I know. I don't understand. I don't like have... it whenever he acts like a child. I don't like adults acting like children. It winds me yeah. up. And then your man... What do you call him? Your man Khan. 
His dad. James Khan. Yeah. James Khan. His son is in that Hawaii Five-0. Oh, really? Yeah. The show? Yeah. The new one that came out? I can't well. remember his name, though. Because he acted in um, Gone in 60 Seconds. I He's think I know who you're talking about. Guy. Can't remember his name. Obviously, it's something calm, but... Zoe Deschanel was in it as well. Yeah. She was a love she interest. She was only, what was... She was only like 21. I probably. I think she was only 21 or something Is like that. Was that one of her first it's roles? Crazy, yeah. Because yeah. she's still only in her like mid-30s. And she's been about for so long. Yeah. The first thing I ever seen her in was a music video for The Offspring. Yeah. Years ago. Like this is Seriously? the 90s. <laughs> Next, Scrooged. Scrooged. Is, is to it be called, honest, it's it could, called, because there's so many, is it called Bill Murray's Scrooge? No, it's called Scrooged. Scrooge. Whereas the rest of them are just called Scrooge or The yeah. Christmas Carol. Because he's been Scrooged. You know, it's like that's yeah. a term almost, you know, throwing it at him because of the stuff he's going through. It's a brain film. It's one you watch every year. And it's more like a dark humour. Comedy, yeah. yeah. Aye. But then I heard, I don't know if it's true, but you know the scene where he slips in the restaurant? Yeah. Falls and gets back up and kind of like just dusts it off and walks off. Apparently that wasn't meant to happen. Right, so that it was, was like a, a happy fall. accident type thing? Yeah, it was like a, he actually fell. But he kept acting. Yeah, he stayed in character. Yeah, and it actually worked out. I think it was it was the same case as well. Whenever the girl, the wee fairy woman, yeah. kept slapping him, yeah. she was really kicking the fuck out of yeah, him. And she wasn't meant to go as hard, but mm-hmm. he kept it in. Um, she also the only other thing I think I've seen her in is Four Christmases, but we'll get on to that. She was in Gotham as well. Miss Penguin's Miller. I haven't seen that. No. Wow. Well. <laughs> um, the next one is. Christmas Carol, but which one? Uh, whenever I wrote it down, it was the one with Jim Carrey. So that came to my head. A Christmas Carol. A Christmas animated. Carol, the animated one. That is probably one of my favorite. It was very good, yeah. and I remember seeing it for the first time. It was like just after Avatar came out, and they were pushing the three D thing in the yeah. cinemas. So you had like the digital three D glasses, and all it was pretty Seriously? cool. With the snow, it actually looked like it was snowing in the yeah. cinema. It's one of the few times I, I think three D's worked. Off. You. <laughs> But then again, any Christmas Carol story you watch is quite good. Did yeah. you watch the BBC Christmas Carol? It was like three parter. Came out last no, year. No, I didn't actually watch Ooh, it. Oh, it's good. It's dark. Is it? Yeah, it's I really good. Watch it. Yeah, what do you call your man? Fucking Guy Pierce. He plays Scrooge. I remember not. you telling me, but I just never watched. It. I don't know. I just uh, never got into it. It's but, good. Um, I watched one a couple of years ago. It has to be about 2014-15. And it had your man Stop banging from that. EastEnders in it. Uh, what do you call your man? Is it Phil? Phil, Phil Mitchell? Phil Mitchell's brother. Oh, Ross what, Kemp. Ross Kemp. Is it Ross Kemp? They did the, the, the gangs and stuff. Aye. Aye, it's him. He, uh, it was him in it, but it was like a North, it was like a London kind of Oh dear. <laughs> and to be honest, it was actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. I've never seen it that before. It was a TV one, and I watched it, I can't find it ever since. No? Probably if you looked them up. Uh, IMDb or something? Me, yeah. yeah. I might do that actually. It was actually a really good take I've never seen that. Um, another one, great movie that came out in the 2000s, Christmas with the Cranks. I've only ever seen it once. <laughs> it's got Tim Allen and Jimmy Lee Curtis on it, on it and Dan Aykroyd. Yes, but it also has one of the younger of the two cops in it is your man who won Celebrity Big Brother who was the no baddie idea. in one of the Die Hard movies. He was the baddie in Under Siege. Right, okay. You got remember he was in a baddie. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. son is in it. Oh, right, okay. But, great movie. Never mention Hickory Honey <laughs> <laughs> It's a fucking slushy. It's disgusting. Uh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Deck the holes. Deck the holes. That is a brown film. It's a great movie, but I wouldn't like. I wouldn't. I watch it every year, but it wouldn't be my favorite. Like. No, I think it's up there and probably the yeah. funniest ones. Really? I don't even know if it's so much. It's, just a, it's a funny movie. Genetic. There's funny. Yeah, it's that bit that fucking daddy. gets me. And then you see them in the church. I'm your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the holy so water. Good. It is a good movie. Yeah, it's short and sweet. See, I like yeah, I like your man Matthew Butterick. Yeah, I think he's a good actor, and I like uh, your man Elderfell, who's named completely left me. Yes. 
We have a Miracle on 34th Street. I've never seen the original. I have seen I've the seen original. The one with your wee girl from Matilda. What do you call her? I don't know. I remember her She's name. She's a Mrs. Dyke Fire and all. Yeah. Yeah. It's everything. Everything from the 90s. Yeah. That girl was in. <laughs> yeah, I know. The early yeah, 90s. Was she was all over them. She was in, like. But it was good. Um, yeah. So it was. He was seen as Santa Claus, though. Everybody seen that as That's the Santa. real Santa. Yeah, like every mo- other movie, the Santa was never. What do you call him? Your man. One of the, what do you call him, Attenborough's? What was his name, though? Richard Attenborough? Was, was it? it? I can't remember. Um, yeah, yeah, it was Richard they Attenborough. They all so long. They all lived like 100 and all. Yeah, because Richard Attenborough, did, he was in did, Jurassic and Park. all the kids did. Like, it was David Attenborough still yeah. going. So, obviously, another classic, Home Alone 1. Yeah. Home Alone 2. Um, <laughs> Home Alone 3. I actually like it. Yeah. But I think it's based after Christmas. Just it's after. Just just during after. the snow, because that's he gets the he gets the the car and all the Christmas done there that he uses. He yeah, tapes the camera too, does he not? It's the neighbor gives him up for, as payment for. Oh. Um, yeah, but I've watched it a lot drive. more recently than I, I have. Watched it this year, yeah. I haven't watched it in years. Uh, so. No, I have watched it this year actually. Of course, anyway. Um, but the first two are. Yeah, they're like, they're class groundbreaking like, um, sort of Christmas ones. as John Hughes and all did them. I remember like, the amount of times it's came out Macaulay Culkin has died and he's just like what nope. was it <laughs> he was in the he woke up a couple of months ago and his name was in was it because he turned 40 and he said he woke up and his name was trending again so he thought he had died <laughs> again <laughs> <laughs> uh, that made me feel sick that he was 40 yeah like that is there's something not right <laughs> You know, like, go on, like, he should never have aged. Yeah, like you, know, you look at him and just go. You know, you see him as a child. Yeah. And the next minute, you're just like he's forty now, and you're just like it doesn't. Sure, oh, it's it only was it never aged so like movies. There's one of the Facebook pages or whatever I put up that they're like, um, can you imagine doing Home Alone now? But it's Macaulay Culkin protecting his house on Purge Night. <laughs> um, Love Actually, brilliant movie. It is a good brilliant film. Movie. So it is. It's got everyone on it. It's even know? got Aunt Deck. There's an actress who played one of the younger girls in it, absolutely despises the film, because she thinks it's uh, creating like a bad idea of women. Oh, that sort of crap. Like she's saying that all the women in the movie are just, you know, plot points to get past for the male characters. I don't agree with that. I have not heard any of this. No. I don't really understand. <laughs> What's going on Fair here? enough. But no, it's a great wee movie, so it is it's very funny. I love Ron Atkinson's character on it. He's just so random. Yeah. Um But then his character was random. To go with yeah. humans. Like I don't know. I don't know. People like to complain. Um, yeah. <laughs> um four Christmases. Like That's I said earlier. Reese Willerspoon and, and Vince, Vince Vaughn. Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, he's always the same character. He's always that guy that just over talks, over talks, over talks, yeah. like in everything. He knows what he's going to play, and that's it. Yeah. Like, there, he's, lately he's played different characters, but there was a whole stint really, there where everything yeah. he'd done. I really liked him in that war one. What'd you call it? Over uh, Hacksaw Ridge? Hacksaw Ridge. I never watched sure, he was. What? It's a good one. <laughs> and he's a drill sergeant in it. Oh, he's really? He's really good. He's not himself in it, I don't yeah. think. I he did think a, one of the first ones, he kind of changed his character. He did a film called Brawl in Cell Block 99, was I think it it's called. Good? That's brilliant. It looked a bit... It's it looked a bit, a bit slow and a bit looked rough, a bit but it's good. Is he bald in it? Yeah. It looked a bit dodgy. He shaves his head when he goes to prison. And he's in a new film called Freaky. We didn't actually talk about Four Christmases. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The one thing I really remember about Four Christmases is John Favreau's character is an asshole as per usual. Yeah. He's the one of the brothers, isn't he? And it starts off with like yeah. them two meeting in the bar, pretending they've met for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm from North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. It's just a weird way. It was really weird. The f- thing that gets me though is it's like 91 minutes long. Okay. Is it even like? Is it 91? It's like no, it's like 81. It's like an hour and 20. Which really gets me because like it it feels longer, but not in a bad way. Right. Okay. But it really is just them going to four houses. That's yeah, the movie. Yeah. That's like, why it probably feels longer, is because yeah, you're getting four different stories yeah. essentially. But um, it's really I think it's one of them movies. Like I've watched it this year, watched them all this I year. I've watched it years. So but, um, it's really good and short. 
That's something but, you just stick yeah. on, not have to worry about. And that's the thing, like, it's not overly Christmassy. Like, it's more, it's more relatable, like, with families. Yeah. Because like, you don't have, like, in movies, like, they have these amazing, you know, no fights in a family. Where in real life, you know, yeah. an auntie or an uncle's fighting with... What are you doing, that book? <laughs> All right. Stop it. Moving on. Uh, Before we get any further, because we didn't write it down, and I think it's one that we should talk about, it's Christmas Vacation. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how... Do you want to know why that is? Darren is really slow at writing. Shut up. Like, (laughs) you'll tell him three movies, and he's like... And he's writing Christmas as Xmas. Yeah, I don't know how... I I stopped writing Christmas. I don't know how it took him so long. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) My penmanship's pretty much went to shit the entire time, anyways. Right. Yeah. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. What great like, film! Come on, you have fucking oh. Rusty is the dude from the Big Bang Theory, Leonard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't um, that annoy me though. People are they're bringing up all these posts. Like people are only finding out now that he's that. From the first time you've seen Big Bang Theory and then watch Christmas Vacation, yeah. and go oh fuck, that's him. That seat is really sore. Is it? I tell you, you must have a really sensitive ass. Yeah, well, it's wood. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, we call it. I just want to say something there about it. Chevy Chase, so he's fucking. He is. He's glorious, on not <laughs> Come here. Was it the first one to come out, or was Vacation? No, it was first? Vacation, and then it was European Vacation, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and really? then it was Christmas Vacation. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I, and like, then it was I've Vegas seen vacation. vacation. But I liked Christmas Vacation better. Yeah, they all are but, good films in their own merits, I think. Um, what was it. What do you call it, Uncle? We call the uncle Randy. Randy. No, it's cousin no, Eddie. It's Randy Quaid, Rand- who's yeah, Dennis yeah, Quaid's cousin brother. <laughs> but in real life, Randy Quaid is the you know the cousin. Yeah, like, that's how cousin he Eddie. He literally can't go into America now. He's in Canada because him and his <laughs> wife are wanted. Yeah, like because they squatted in a house they used to own <laughs> or something like that. I was reading it, just thinking, this is Dennis Quaid's brother, like, like, like Dennis Quaid could probably turn yeah. around and be like, "Here's a house." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, I don't know. Is is the character just seems like him and his wife would blow all the money? Yeah, like, but sure, they got a spin-off show of their own. Did they? It was like a Christmas. Oh, well, it's like what do you call his name? And what's he called? Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. It's like Eddie's Christmas. Christmas. It's like on an island or something like that. He's on like a. a I'm Fiji glad I've island never seen that before. I would never watch it. No. <laughs> um. Christmas in Wonderland. It's one of them ones. It's sad because I'm pretty sure it was Patrick Swayze's last film, yeah, and he actually this. really looks ill in it. Right, you can tell. Yeah, Tim Curry isn't he your guy from Adam's Valley? Yes. He's in it, but he's like the body in it. I'm pretty sure. He was, was in only in Adam's Family Reunion. Oh really? Yeah. Right. <laughs> he was well, Pennywise in the original it. And yes. he was the dude in Rocky Horror Picture Show. He, uh, I'm pretty sure he's like one of the main buys in Christmas Wonderland. Okay. But the film, it's sad because like, it's a family that haven't got a whole lot of money. So, I'm pretty sure they find, a, like the kids find a briefcase or like a bag of money, but it's the... Bad guys. The bad guys had robbed a bank or something. Yeah. But they got the money. So the whole movie is them trying to get away with the money. All right, okay. And hmm. try and get them caught or something like that. But it's actually really good. I haven't seen it in a few years. I bought it though this year to watch. Yeah. When I watch it this week, maybe. Another one that you didn't put on the list. You I... told me about a film that made you cry the other week. No, I didn't want to put that on the list. I <laughs> 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 don't want to remake. That's why I don't want to say. Why? The Christmas shoes. The Christmas shoes. He yeah. was, we were walking around the park and he's telling me how he started crying to this movie. I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> it was just so sad. Like, but yeah, was, that is sad. Um, if you have seen the Christmas Chronicles, we'll talk about it in a minute. It's the children's mum in it. She is like a young mum, and she ends up like she's needing like a heart transplant. She nearly gets one, but the heart had like I can't remember what it was has some disease wrong with it. Okay, and um, she couldn't get the heart transplant. So basically, the whole way through the movie is her dying, and she dies on Christmas Eve. But the wee boys saving up the money to buy her a pair of shoes she really wanted and he's sitting there crying because he was five dollars short and he's telling the guy in the shop how he wants his mum to look you know her best when she's in heaven and i was sitting there cuddling my dog bawling my eyes out (laughs) 
And then, like, it's just so sad. Poor like, Chester. It's really sad, like. <laughs> yeah, it sounds sad. It was, I, I just thought, I bought this to be Christmassy. <laughs> and I swear, I was in bits. Brilliant. Next minute, the whole town are singing Silent Night outside her window. <laughs> and she's like, the husband's holding her in her new shoes, dancing her around the, the living room. And next minute, you see everybody outside and the light go out, as in she passed away. Aye. There's me going again. <laughs> I was going again. Awful, awful but good. I I don't know if I could watch it again. No. Personally, I don't know. I don't know. Destroy it. Might do it again next year. I'll see. <laughs> and then I'll see another classic. Santa Claus 1, 2 and 3. Yeah. One. Maybe not so much the third one third because one, although it's that short. toy Tim Allen pissed me off. Uh, is the third one on no, it? Second. Was that the second one? Third well, maybe one I don't like Jack the second one either. Maybe I only like the I first one. I invented the chill. <laughs> <laughs> the first one's a absolute yeah. bona fide I'm classic. Gonna, so it is. I'm going to be honest. I think the second one's my favourite. Really? With the Yes, he looks really rubbery. It's not that's the way he gets on just annoys me a lot. I know, but that's the whole point of it. Yeah, I know, but it's I not like a good story. Point. I just thought it was a good story. Um, But the third... It's watchable, like it's real short. So it, I think they knew it wasn't going to be as good, so they made it shorter. Yeah. So it kind of makes it up. You know what I mean? And kind of makes up for hers. It, <laughs> yeah, it. it's not going to drag on. Yeah. Then I'll see another classic, The Holiday. Never seen it. I know Jude Law and Jack Black and Cameron Diaz are on. It's basically one of them <laughs> movies, like Love Actually. It has so many. Did Kate Winslet said it too. Like. Homes. Partners or yeah. homes? homes partners. I don't know if like a wife swap or some shit. No. Um, girl, she's dating. She was dating a guy. Then she finds that. out he was dating someone that she works with, and then she still sees him after that, thinking he's going because he keeps saying he's going to break up with her and all. And the next minute, he, they announce they get married at right. the Christmas wedding, the Christmas day. So then she kind of has like a midlife crisis, and she puts her house up for this like swap thing okay your other woman in America Cameron Diaz she's just been cheated on by her partner and all this and she goes on because she wants away and they swap houses and then they end up meeting two people who are in the other person's lives okay and fall in love okay and sh- long story short okay really good haven't seen it where have you been like darn but next one brilliant movie Grounded Oh, that's a brain phone. Although, it's called something else in America. Is it? Unaccompanied minors in America. Yeah, because I had a real struggle to get it. Really? Because I was like, <laughs> you know, that's what it was called. And I was like, why can't I find this? Yeah. And then I realized over here it's called Grounded. Right, okay. I hate when Americans do that. Like, America and here, they switch names. Yeah, why would you do why that? Yeah, why baller? Yeah. Like, The Rock is in two movies called Welcome to the Jungle yeah. over here. He's in... Welcome to the Jungle, and then Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah. Whereas it's in weird. America, it's called The Rundown or something. It's, it's so weird. I think we have better names as well for films so in general. Grounded. What do you want to say about it? Um, well, it's basically a bunch of kids trapped in the airport overnight during Christmas, and they've got some angry dude yeah. chasing them all around, and it's got the fat kid from Bad Santa on it. It's class. Almost plays the same character. Um, <laughs> Get Santa. British. Movie? Have you not seen it? No. Was it the one with Leslie Neeson on it? No. No. Maybe it's um, it's or something. got your man from the Borrowers, the dad and Borrowers. What do you call him? He's in like Bridget Jones' Diary and all. It's call him Fur. No, no, darn the old, the dad. I don't know. Well, anyway, I've never seen Bridget Jones' um, Diary. It's actually really good. If you haven't seen it, it's like a it's a more dark humory kind of one because Sandy gets arrested. Okay. It's actually pretty good. I think you'd like it. Okay. I think we should probably speed up because we've literally got done like 12 or something like that <laughs> okay so next is I've only seen the first two Nativity you've seen all four I've seen all four of them um, all four of them are okay in their own rights number one was the best yeah out of the two I've seen second one had David Tennant on it. the third one yeah. it all started it started to go downhill after the second one really yeah. the next one is The Snowman now that is my Christmas Eve movie be, uh... that thing don't ruin it for me <laughs> <laughs> The Snowman, I watch it every Christmas Eve. Once. Without fail. I've seen it once. I, I only watch it Christmas Eve. That's my Christmas Eve yeah. thing. I'll have a beer or obviously vodka now. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just sit and watch it. Love it. And you watch the well, sequel now too, don't you? Beer on Christmas Eve. I don't know why. I just have a beer yeah, and watch it. Feels it feels more festive. But then a couple of years ago, they brought out Snowman and Snow Dog. Yeah. 
and it's just so sad. Really? But then it makes up for it because obviously the dog a real happy dog. ending. Yeah. Anyway, of course. So while you were sleeping, never it's seen it. more. So basically, the main thing that happens is the girl fancies this guy, who always she's like a what do you call those people? She works at a train station. She takes the t- you know gives people the tickets. I uh, can't remember what you call it in America. Toller or something like that. Um, so she fancies him. It's Christmas Day. She's had to work again. He gets mugged on the tracks and falls and bangs his head. She saves his life. And then she basically... It's like a misunderstanding, but her his family end up thinking she's his fiance. Okay. So then she ends up getting involved in the family and then falling for his brother. Okay. And then, <laughs> like basically she ends up with the brother and uh, this is literally long story short the brother would that was in a coma when he wakes up he always said you know when was it you knew you fancy my brother you know love my brother she was like it was while you were sleeping then ping ping what's the mic? I don't know and they broke it <laughs> right um, all this Christmas party never it's just, seen it <laughs> It's literally just a feel good mood. It's, if you're going out for your Christmas night out, obviously not this year, I'm not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> but it's one of the movies you've watched before because it literally just gets you in the mood for a okay. drink and a good party. But does it not sort of set you up for false expectations of what you'd be going out for? No, because everything that happens in that movie, you would die if it actually happened. <laughs> right, okay. So, you know, and then the night before Christmas, or oh, the, it's night just the night before. before. It's and it's, it's almost like a, it's literally a piss take off. That's one we haven't put down. What? It's a piss take of It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, right, okay. It's a, it is. Is it? Is it? Yeah. The night I believe before? I earned these. And he's wings. Well, yeah, I know. No, that. I, it is. That's that's a, no, no. And then she home alone me. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> taken a few, but I think... I don't think that's a piss take. So then, obviously, <laughs> It's a Wonderful Life. Brilliant classical movie. Yeah. It really is. The night before, though, was got Seth Green. Or not Seth Green, Seth Rogen. Seth Justin Gordon Levitt and your... Falcon, the Falcon. dude who plays Falcon. Okay, nah. <laughs> uh, the night before Christmas. The nightmare before Christmas. Liz, because I can't be annoyed right now. <laughs> oh, you were rushing me. Okay, okay. Well, that's my Christmas Eve movie. And a lot of people debate whether or not it's uh, that's my Halloween movie. <laughs> you see, people like him would do that as a bridge between yeah, the Halloween movies yep. and the Christmas movies. But for me, it's my Christmas Eve movie. Surviving Christmas. That's Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. It's that a was a weird. And it's movie. got your man from Sopranos. Yeah, I liked it. It's dark humor, but then like it's also got the mum in it. Is the mum from Home Alone? Oh yeah, <laughs> it was good. I remember I really the cinema see that. And then this one, I do not think you've watched the man who invented Christmas. No, it's with Charles Dickens. Yeah, it's not. it's a story about how Charles Dickens made the book Scrooge, and it's actually Carol. really, really. I well, Scrooge is in it. You know I me. Mean? Uh-huh. Um, it's basically how he made that and it's actually really good like fair enough never seen um, it I'll have to bring it around something so Fred Claus not Vince Vaughn Vince Vaughn being Vince Vaughn yeah. only Santa's brother this yeah. time and it's it's got your man what do you call him it's from Big Fat Liar is it Big Fat Liar or Liar Liar no it's Big Fat Liar what Big Fat Liar who your man Oh, Jeremy or Gio Lenny yes. or what do you call him? Aye, he's in Shoot Him Up and All. Aye. Aye, whatever his, fella. Aye, whatever his name so is. So it's got Ludacris, I'm pretty sure, as he's an elf. Though, but aye, yeah. Uh, and the, the matching, it's like Little Man matching from the head to the it's body. It's got your girl. Work. It's got your, is it Michelle Mott? What's her name? I don't know. I can't really remember, remember that much. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Really good movie. Watch it. Arthur's Christmas, but Darren wrote Artur. <laughs> Arthur's Christmas. It was good. It's a good animated movie, so it is. Yeah, it's basically it like Santa Claus okay, as a family. Yeah. And it's a family it's business like type thing. Generation, it's like the grand, the dad, yeah. son. And he wants to give one child their bike, basically, but yeah. gets lost or something. And then his brother, like, his brother's in line to be Santa, but then he's better suited to be Santa. It's a really good movie. Uh, he cares more. Yeah. Jingle all the way. Another classic. Schwarzenegger. What can you say? Yeah. Brian Fulm. <clears throat> it's so Yo. daft. It's brilliant. Yeah. Whenever he gets the friggin' He got reindeer two. drunk. <laughs> he got two <laughs> and it's got your man up we call him his nickname Simbad, Simbad uh. yes <laughs> I don't think you've probably watched this it's a Netflix film we'll just fly through a couple of the Netflix ones okay Jingle Jangle came out this year it's got Forrest, Whit- Forrest Whitaker okay in it and it's a weird Christmas movie it looked weird from it the is. trailer it's not I wouldn't class it Christmas Eve but then 
it is too like it's yeah. weird it's a weird one huh. then you've also got Christmas Chronicles amazing great. have you seen the second no I heard it was the not was as great. good oh, cause it's alright it's still it's a continuation brilliant. yeah and then you'll not like this one The Night Before Christmas it's good it's got your woman Vanessa Hudgens oh sometimes did you see her in Polar? <laughs> I know, well. Then you've got the Princess Witch, which is also her. Yeah, I've heard they're then bloody got, awful. Then you've got, uh, what was it? The Royal Prince. Then the Royal Wet. Then the Royal Your voice broke Christmas there. Baby or something like that. I don't know. There's what? like three or four of them now. And the newest one was not that great. Um, then the Princess Switch, you got a second one of it. And I watched it about 20 minutes. I couldn't watch it. It was awful. Because <laughs> it just had Vanessa Hudgens playing. Like, in the first one, she played two characters. Yeah. In the new one, she was playing, like, five. And I was, like, 20 minutes in, no, I can't. Thanks for my head. Murphy it or something. awful. It was awful. And then you have... Um, you just looked that up. There was another one. No, but there was another one I was thinking of, but it's not on this from Netflix. Can't remember, but we'll Claws? Claws. It was good. The animated one. Yeah. Yeah. Came out really last year. It was really I don't good. know. I actually think that was my favorite movie last year. It was a brilliant movie. I watched it every like. I'm gonna watch it every year now. Yeah. That's uh, gonna be one of the it traditional was really ones for good. you. I th- I really like the story it tells with Santa. Yeah. Like how, you know, it's just a really good Aye. one. So then we we'll have Polar Express, another great, great animated film. movie. The animation is still weird. I'm never ever gonna get, like feel comfortable watching. It's it. weird though because nearly every character is. Tom Hanks. Yeah, even the and main don't, kid. They don't even try and hide it. Tom Hanks. It. Is it? Yeah. No way. I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. Sure. I think, I think it might are. be, because he plays the train conductor. He plays the ghost at the top of the yeah. train, and he plays, plays the other character. He plays his dad on it. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, because he doesn't play. I don't think he plays I think the story. Did he doesn't? Okay. Last Christmas, absolute. Watched it last night for the first time. It has your woman Amelia Clark in it. Awful. <laughs> Predicted it in the first minute. I literally said that guy's dead. And I literally could have walked away then. It was that Spoilers was Spoilers alert. No, Darren, you only watch it, don't watch it. It literally said last Christmas and then all you have is George yeah, Michael I'm... classics. That's all you have. <laughs> every song. That's why I thought you it was know, called no, Last Christmas is because of the George Michael thing. Darren, no, I mean every song in it. You know George Michael. George Michael. George Michael. George wow. Michael. No, George Michael. Just <laughs> okay. stick him in there. Um That's how you go into prison as well. Then we'll have Bad Santa one and two. You haven't seen the second. I haven't seen the second. I haven't seen the second in a while, but I just remember your woman. I like the first your woman one. from Misery, isn't it? What oh, do you really? call her? Oh no, I have seen the second. Yeah, I've. yeah. She's his it's mom. got your ginger girl in it as well. Yes. Hi. Yeah. One Santa. What, what were you about to say there? What? What were we gonna say about her in that movie? <laughs> nothing. What were we gonna say? I was gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the size of a rat. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Follow you. What you gonna say? Out. <laughs> right. Um, Santa Who? You probably haven't seen it. Mm-mm. Um. Basically, it's about Santa. He falls out of his sleigh. And gets amnesia. But, yeah. Of course he And then, um, like, it's about a family trying to help him save Christmas. Wow. Jack Frost, but it's in both characters. There's a horror and yeah. classical We're one. We're talking about the Michael classical one. Keaton Jack Michael Frost. Michael Keaton, a really good movie. It is a great film. It's great, a great, great film, film about a father and a son. Yeah. It is just, it's definitely one of the top I like. So, that is our traditional. Yeah. We'll get on to the debatable. Yeah, these right. other lists aren't as long because... Yeah, they're shorter. Cause yeah. Not... So these really ones, ones these well. debatable ones are... Are they Christmas, are they Christmas movies or not? Yeah. But it's mainly because they're based at Christmas is why they're debatable. So Die Hard 1 and 2, for me... Well, for Darren here, he's with 2 and 2, but I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> Die Hard 2 2. <laughs> Shut up. It's Die no Hard. worse than the friggin' names they started giving Die Hard Die Hard, I don't know, well, 4.0. What the fuck? <laughs> Just say four. The free Die Hard. Die Hard, one and two, both set at Christmas. For me, Christmas movies. To me, they're Christmas movies. As I well. but they're the ones I start off with. So September comes, I will watch Die Hard one and two. <laughs> okay, you weirdo. So Batman Returns. You based watched at that. Christmas. I didn't find a Christmas. Yeah. It's still based at Christmas. Based at Christmas, but it's not Christmas. It's not Christmasy enough. <laughs> it's not Christmasy enough. It's not Christmasy enough. Okay. <laughs> Why is it Christmas Eve for you? Oh, yeah. After Christmas? Is that all you've got? <laughs> right? Well, you feel... I'm Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. I, when I, didn't, rap on I did not find out. I don't know what it was. Daddy's Home 2. Christmas movie. 
Yeah, it is. It's a Christmas it movie. is. Like, I, I, I put it in debatable, but I think it's, I would say that's a Christmas yeah, movie. Yeah, because like, love the family's that movie. coming together yeah. for Christmas. And you see that nativity fight scene? I loved it. <laughs> it's just, so what it got me was what the got... thermostat scene where we're all in the hallway arguing about oh, the thermostat. Oh, yes, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Control your family. It's like... <laughs> Oh, it's weird. I, 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 it's, I've seen it this year, but I won't watch it again. <laughs> Bad Mom's Christmas. Yeah. I actually, have you seen it? Yeah. I would say it's Christmas. Do you know, I haven't seen the first film. I've only seen the I first. I have a feeling, though, they literally just copied Daddy's Home 2. Yeah, it's like right. the female version yeah. of it. Because Bad Mom's Not is the female version. away from it, but it is giving me a Yeah. Bit. It's got, like, Susan Strand and all. Like, all the mums are just funny. <laughs> um, what do you call her? To be a mum. Oh, I can't remember her name. Oh. She was the mum in... Big Bang Theory as well. That's in my head. That's in my head. No. We call her. We I call don't know. The main of the three of them. Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. No. Mila. Um, <laughs> planes, trains, and autobiographies. I say it as Christmas Eve. It's based at Thanksgiving. Yeah, so it's not far off. I, it's basically Christmas. Yeah. I like it. Just Friends. I say it as a Christmas movie. Oh, because he's going back to yeah, like, there for Christmas. Is he? No. Is he? he it's is. based at Christmas, just. Oh, I thought he was going like, back to like his childhood home for Christmas, or his family no, home for Christmas. No, he sure he didn't plan to go home. Oh, I can't remember. It's been he, years uh, since I've seen it. Cra- like, is your woman, what do you call uh, her now? Yeah, she put tinfoil in a microwave and they end up having a land where right, he was okay. in town. So, on to Darren's favourite. So, here you go. Darren's favourite. Right. Well, you say we're getting into my favourites, but this is starting off with a film that sort of sparked our interest in doing a Christmas list in the first place. Was the fact that we watched the third, well, the second remake of Black Christmas a I've couple of nights ago? Yeah, I've oh. seen the original, and we've both seen Black Xmas, the two thousand six version, two thousand six version, yeah. which is bloody and funny. It is good. Uh, the original movie is I actually, considered one the of the two thousand six one films. I actually enjoyed the story. You see, it's a very forgettable movie for me because although I enjoy it and enjoy the kills, I can never fucking remember the movie. I remember the start. <laughs> Darn, you can't remember them all. Yeah, that's fair. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but then... The new one. The new one that came out last year. It was awful. Awful, awful, awful. All awful, you awful. need to do is type in Black Christmas on IMDb. Oh, the, the, the one that I'll take up with me forever, though, is the comments. <laughs> it was the person that gave it a five star <laughs> for literally making the remake seem like a blockbuster. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they they absolutely rip into the the film. That was brilliant. Like the whole time we were watching, I'm like it must be better. And then we're coming up. With it's because like, they took it supernatural, and like we were saying the whole way through, see if they make this supernatural. That's gonna ruin. It's it gonna ruin. And they done. It was super predictable. Yeah, everything like we were, was so. We were try- Yeah, like masculine. we were trying to think of something that would not be too predictable. Because we were like, there's no way it's that because uh, that could, was too be obvious. Yeah. yeah, and it was just like, there's no way it's that obvious, and yeah. it was that obvious. Like it could have been a really good movie if it was well written, yeah, and well directed, and you actually seen some gore. Yeah, there is not an ounce of blood in that film. No. Yeah, every every kill they went a cut. Like, yeah, and cut Darren, from it. at one point Darren screamed <laughs> in anger because he wanted to see blood. <laughs> I have no idea what it's like to see Darren in the middle of the dark room when it's, the lights coming on and off on the TV, and he's just like, "No blood." <laughs> so yeah, avoid the uh, the Black Christmas second yeah. remake at all costs. Uh, next on the series one was Krampus. I don't see it as a horror though. To children, maybe. Yeah, but it's but, like. Horror comedy. It is a horror com- uh, yeah. comedy, I'd say. That's what I meant. Like, I put it in yeah. the horror because it's more horror yeah. than debatable because it is brilliant it is movie. set at Christmas. Brilliant movie. It's a Christmas I movie. I love that movie. It's the little gingerbread man. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. It's like your mom, what do you call it? I can't Whammy from Anchorman. Yeah. I can't remember his name. And she's like, uh, trust me, honey, you don't want to know. And he's like, I just got nearly, what was it? Eaten by gingerbread man. <laughs> so trust me, I, whenever I tell you I can take it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it is very good. It's, it's really just, good. it's another one as well. There's no blood on it. But, but then I another thing that annoys me is so, there's so many Krampus movies. Yeah. So to be like, honest, there was a Krampus movie like, that came out before this one that was okay. I can't remember the actual name of it. But then there was another one that was like Krampus, Krampus the, the Reckoning, and stuff. Or something like that. You know. Yeah, there's a lot of shit, but just watch the one that's just called Krampus. Um, next up was Gremlins. Based on Christmas, but it's kind of like 
but That's still it. it's a Christmas movie. I suppose, but and then there's this. Well, I suppose I brought it to a watch. Phenomenal again. speech by Phoebe Gates. I think that's her name, or Phoebe Gates, and uh, about why she doesn't like Christmas. Uh, I think it's it's just a brilliant piece what of writing again? and acting. It was like on Christmas, her dad was going to sneak down the chimney, but he got stuck, and he died in the chimney. And then she was like, on Christmas morning. Or no, Why was that great? No, it's the, way she, no it's the way she tells the story. If you watch the scene, watch you'll know again. what I'm talking I about. I watch it again. Because but... it comes out of nowhere as well. Like, earlier in the film, she says, I don't like Christmas. And she's like, oh, I know everybody yeah. hates you whenever you say you don't like Christmas. But you don't say you don't like whatever else and don't give a shit. But then later on in the movie, in the midst of all the shit, there's like a cool down moment where she tells the story. That's really good. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, this is one. Of, this is actually the first one me and you watched together for Christmas. It was Christmas Evil. <laughs> it we was fucking you awful. Some, you say, darling, it's Christmas. Let's watch it this way. <laughs> and he's next this one. I didn't. I haven't seen it before. That was my first. It time was the ending. It. The ending when he drove. <laughs> he flew. Where was he going? Like, was he? Were they trying to say he was Santa? Like, we what? didn't have a clue. What was like, going on? I swear, the movie I didn't, didn't want to know spiked. what it was doing. I thought I was like, <laughs> I was like is he flying? First of all, he got choked out by his brother. Yeah. And then he gets in the car. There he says, fuck you. He gets in the <laughs> car. And then goes off a cliff, but he keeps He going just up. keeps flying. Like he's on a sauna sled. That's the thing. Like, the whole way through the film, he's a weirdo, but he has good intentions. Most of the time. Well, and then yeah. he just randomly, like, pokes somebody's eye out and bashes oh, them in the I'm, head with a little yeah, hammer. It was awful CGI. Or whatever it was. Practical effects. Uh, it was just terrible in general. Yeah. It was an awful film. I we'll never watch it again. I'll never touch it again. But then after that, we watched something that was a lot better. And it was Silent Night, Deadly Night. I say a lot. A in lot comparison, better compared, yeah. Yeah, It was <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> no, was right, yeah. what you say? Was like, no, yeah. Punish. <laughs> punish, yeah. Punish. Punish. It was a lot more To be more fair, gory and... he was... He had an excuse, really, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Sad. Yeah, it's a brutal movie, yeah. honestly, and there's a lot of tits on it. Like, we were even sitting there going, there's a lot of tits in this film. Like, <laughs> don't get us wrong, like, you know, we don't mind, like, usually, but, like, whenever there's an excessive amount, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, there was more people showing their tits than there was not. Like, yeah. <laughs> out of every scene, there's like, oh, there's more part tits. Yeah. Like, it just felt weird. Yeah. But, no, it was a good film. We didn't watch the sequel, to be fair, but yeah. apparently the sequel's awful. I only know there's one scene from the sequel where a guy's like, garbage day, and then shoots someone. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Anna and the End of Apocalypse. Never seen it. You haven't seen it? It's a you musical. <laughs> it's a me. Mu- no. <laughs> no. I'm not I want him to watch no, it tonight. No, 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 no. Yeah, musical, no. I'm what not do you mean you're not watching it? What's wrong with I'm the I'm not in the mood for a musical, darn, no. It's a good movie. No, it's a good no, Christmas no, movie. Yeah. It's a zombie movie. No. <laughs> it's a British it musical zombie no, movie. No. <laughs> No, get it out, get it out. No way am I watching that. Stop saying no, get it out. No, I'm not. No, I'm not watching that. It's a good movie. I'm not watching it. Fine. You're not watching right. it. Right, the next one's The Children. And it's Never basically, seen that. Uh, these families meet up together in like a big house for their Christmas. But then the kids just start to go insane and start killing the adults. But it's very well done. That's, I don't see that, so. No, it's a good movie. It's pretty underrated, I'd say. Uh, yeah, better watch out. It was good. It was Home Alone, but the kids, the psycho. Yeah. Yeah. Well, babysitter. Yeah. Um, but I just love the ending. I'll say spoilers, but it's whenever he thinks he's killed her. Aye. But she survives, so then he plays all like we go innocent. See her. He's like, I want to go see her. Make sure she's okay. So he's gonna go try and kill her in the hospital. Yeah. But it is a very fun film. Yeah, so it was it really is. good. Yeah. I actually watched it tonight again, so it. Yeah, it was good. And then the last one we have done here is the other Jack Frost. I don't see it. Darren will watch it. So it's terrible. <laughs> That's it. Moving on. What do we call it? What do you call it? Shannon Elizabeth? The girl gets her tits out in the American Pie movie. She gets basically raped in the shower by Jack Frost, and his car cock. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's pass. Yep, yep. Right, so that is our Black Book Three of... hour long <laughs> review on <laughs> Christmas films. Yeah. And there's probably loads that we've missed out, but if we sat here talking about all of them, we'd be here for hours on end. Yeah. 
And I'm there, I'll just be like, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it. You'll probably have seen them all. Yeah. Apart from the horror ones. Yeah. But yeah. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll be back with more videos in 2021. In our little bubble. Well, hopefully not for much longer. Hopefully not. Yeah. Yeah. Wear, wear your mask and don't be a cunt. I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sweet God. <laughs> Ask me why I've been mistreated like that. <laughs> I didn't record. Cotton shit. Is that what you're talking about?